Hi, I'm Sean Arnold, and this is another brief, brave attempt in learning. Hi, I'm Sean Arnold. There are a lot of tools specific to the education edition of Minecraft, and we're going to be looking at those today. We've broken the tools down into three categories. The first one is for students to document their learning for themselves and for the teachers. The second set of tools is for teachers to provide direct instruction and information to the students. And the third is to manage student interactions. Let's start with some reflection tools. While students could use an external program to do screen recordings, the built-in camera allows students to document their work in-game and submit it to teachers. The portfolio is made specifically for teachers' submissions. It allows students to take their in-game screenshots and caption them, and then export it ultimately as a PDF. In the book and quill, students can choose either photos or a large amount of text for any page. Once the book is signed, it can't be edited, but it can be used as an in-game guidebook. Check out this fun guidebook for our virtual museum that we created. There are a number of ways to relay information in the game, too. These chalkboards come in three sizes and work a little bit differently than the normal in-game signs. They hold a lot more text. They're also easier to edit after the fact without having to destroy them and start again. You can even change the font and colors in it using certain symbols. NPCs are able to provide information, provide items, or even link directly to websites. Yes, there is the text that they can speak, but they're also able to execute slash commands, so they can accomplish almost anything to help the player. And if you need even more information, just link to that external website. And to help make it more accessible, Microsoft's Immersive Reader is built right in. You just click the little book icon, it will read the text for the student, you can adjust colors and fonts, highlight parts of speech, translate it to another language, or access picture symbols. And it's great for having students work together. You can check out another video on the details for multiplayer mode. But there are ways for you to control student interactions individually or together. Allow and deny blocks are just like they sound. Deny blocks prevent students from placing or destroying anything in that area. In worlds that are fully uneditable, allow blocks give students a space to get creative. Border blocks can be placed above or below ground to prevent students from exiting that particular area. You can set them up very quickly with the slash command. As the world creator in world builder mode, you can get around those blocks those students can't. You can further allow or disallow certain features using settings or slash commands. There are even things like coding and chemistry add-ons in the Education Edition, but those will be discussed in future videos. Thanks so much for joining me, and if you found it helpful, like, subscribe, and check out any of the other Minecraft Education videos here. See ya!